Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. To make my Chinese good luck knots, I'm going to be using this Venetian blind cord. It's a very, very nice cord to use. So you're going to take exactly one meter and then cut it. Now take some sticky tape and just tape the ends closed so they don't run for now. Now what you do is take your cord and fold it in half, two edges on the end. Now, so measuring from the top to where you're going to be attaching them, I've got nine centimeters. And the two side pieces are going to be six centimeters each. So you can make sure that they're the same by just measuring them on the side to get them exactly the same. So you've got something that looks like that. Now what you're going to do is, holding it all in place, take the bottom three strands and fold it upwards so that it's parallel with this top one. And take the left hand loop Fold that over the top, making sure that you keep this loop that you folded up open. Fold that up over the top. Next, the top one you're folding down, and the right hand side loop you're going to thread through that wee hole that you left of the three, that three strands that you put up, and then pull them tight. Don't pull them too tight because you don't want them to be very very tight at this stage. So you have something that looks like that. Try and just make sure that they're straight, square and if you've got any crossed over rope now would be the time to straighten those. So everything is looking good on both sides. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it and we're going to go by flipping this part and having the three strands at the top. Putting that down and then once again we're going to put the left side over this one is because I'm going for a slightly smaller side one so it makes it just that little bit more difficult. You're going to put that one like that. You're going to fold the bottom one up, the right hand side one over, and where you've left this wee little hole at the bottom here, you have to now thread these ones through there. So threading these ones through. As I said, it's just a little bit harder when you've got really small side ones, but that's what I want. So there's one through. i just trim that down because that's not going to get through. And then we'll thread that one through bottom as well making sure that we don't lose any of our loops so we've got that we're going through as well and there we've got them through and now we're going to just tighten it all by pulling on all the threads now you'll see at the back if you flip it over you've got some little loose ones here now these ones can be pulled out to make your secondary loops. So just pull them out as far as what you want them to go. As you pull them, these ones are going to get shorter. So once you've pulled your little secondary loops out to the size that you want them, then you can pull your other strands tighter. And then you've got something that looks like like that. 
and then I'll show you how I'm going to decorate the bottom part of my strands, my good luck knots. To make the bottom decorative piece I'm using this metallic thread and as you can see it's very 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 fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off some and I'm going to double it over and then double it over again and then double it over so that it's quite nice and thick. So the first double over I put a knot at the end of it and then I double it over again. Once I've done the second double over you can see it's starting to pick up make it nice and thick then what you do is you twirl it from both directions in opposite directions so one you're rotating forward the other one rotating backwards and just go and do the whole string the whole thread like that so once you've reached the end then divide it into the middle and then just let it twine around each other so when you release it it'll just roll up and twine around each other and then you've got a nice thick piece of cord and then just tie the ends down. At the end where the cord has wrapped around over it's got a small eyelet so just divide that in half, open it and then insert the end piece through that hole so you've got like a loop and then just thread it over your little knot and pull it tight now I'm going to be going down about two centimeters by just tying the gold thread around like that once you've reached the two centimeter mark just make a loop and thread the cord through that loop and pull it out and then tighten that to secure it so it's not going to move so now it's nice and tight so the little flower or petal that we're doing is going to be two centimeters on either side so two centimeters that side two centimeters this side and you've got your decoration now holding it all in place Take your thread you have a right side and a wrong side so when you have a look because the little extra ones are coming out on this side this is going to be the front of it so going around the back of it you're going to go around this three times front one and so you're going around three times and then go around the back again and onto at the other side and go around that three times as well crosses are all going on the back of it you're now going to do go in the bottom now I'm going down one centimeter on the bottom as well so just go down one centimeter once you've gone down your one centimeter once again make a loop and then pass 
the thread through that loop to secure it. And then just take your glue and glue it down at the back. Now take the end tape off on both the tassels. And then what we're going to do is tease them out. I'm just using a small little screwdriver which works quite well to just tease it all out like that. You can take a fine tooth comb and comb it out as well. And then just do both sides and then we'll trim it afterwards. Once you've teased it all out, you have something that looks like that. Now all you have to do is just trim it so that it's all the same. So we we'll just trim that off. And that's one of the tassels completed. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.